supposed to do it. But you're, are you singing lyrics? On this? No, no it's, there's, there's kind of no lyrics on it. It's because that's another thing that we used to do it is that um, coming up with the top line because most of the times we wrote the music part first and then the next thing we have to work out is what's the melody and then what's the lyrics to go with the melody yeah. and so what would quite often happen is that we vocalize mark would, and i would just sort of and then throw the odd word in that seemed to fit although it was appropriate to nothing and then phil you know would take it away and He'd hear those vowel sounds and they would suggest something to him quite often, wouldn't they? But the whole thing in the song goes down with uh, Mark, you know, I don't want to go to war. That's, that, that's what Mark did on the scat, and it's exactly what it sounded like he's saying. I don't want to go to war. So it's, it's quite easy as a lyricist to just sort of jot down the vowel sounds and, and fill in the blanks. But this one... This well, it's easy for you. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean that as a compliment, because, you know, I couldn't do that. Well, I, I, was, I, I, I was really into that, because, like... What was really important for Mike and Mark, because they weren't, they never set out to be singers, which is what's incredible about it, because they both had very unique voices, and they both sang compositionally, they didn't sort of improvise too much. But it was really important for the lyricists involved, or brother or Mike or, or myself, to pick vowel sounds and work with their voices. Like with Mark, you would never have an E sound on a high note, you just wouldn't go E up there, because it just didn't work, you know? So it was very important to do, the process we went through where we, we, we did what you're about to hear, which is just saying a, a scatty guide part. It was very important for me because it helped it guide me as to what vowel sound, what words I could use. You know? Actually, it, it was liberating. It made it easier for me. Yeah. And I, I, mean, I just, on the way out, we were talking about the Chinese way because um, I, a lot of people love that song. And I love playing it live, but unfortunately, that was a l addition to the album at the end of the run. Uh, I had two, and a half, two hours one afternoon to write it. And if there any, is anybody responsible for that song, it's him. Because it's his keyboard part. It's, it's his keyboard. You didn't make any vowel sense. No, you, you, you did on your keyboard part. Your keyboard went the ba ba da, the cha cha cha, the Chinese. It just sounded like the Chinese wave. So he, it's his fault. Yes. 